Today on Ask Briefdews, we're going to be talking about smartphone gimbals. So Jeff writes in, he says, Hey Devin, I've noticed you've been using a gimbal in some of your newer videos. What are you using? What do you recommend? So today I'm going to go a little bit behind the scenes about how I produce my videos. And as you know, when I'm walking around lately, if I'm, if I'm just shooting in front of the camera, I have my SLR on a tripod. But if I'm walking around, I tend to use my cell phone on a gimbal. And I, I research these things for weeks and weeks and weeks, trying to find you know the best bang for your buck. I want something effective, but I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a DJI and some of these other ones. So what I actually found is the Zion or Zion, I don't know how you say it, but the Smooth C smartphone gimbal. Uh, this one's actually very affordable and I'm amazed at how well it works. So what it is, it's actually a three axis gimbal. So you got a little joystick, you got the gimbal that will move in three different directions and you just attach your phone to it. So if I'm walking around the house or I'm doing panning shots of stuff, this really makes a huge difference to make your video very smooth. And I feel like it's like a great tool to up your kind of video game, your production value. So what you want to do is get your phone on there and get it fairly balanced. You want it to, if you move it to a certain spot, you ideally want it to stay there and keep tweaking it until it will stay where it is. Now when you turn this thing on, hold down the button, and now you can see the phone is perfectly stabilized. So as I move it up and down, left and right, it's gonna keep the phone in the exact same orientation. So when you're normally taking videos of stuff, usually the video's all shaky as you're moving on, where this will give you that buttery smooth footage. So it's actually really amazing. It's some crazy piece of technology and for about 150 bucks, might even be less. Um, I'll post a link below. I'll find it on Amazon, post it so you guys know exactly which one I'm using. But I've had amazing success with this thing. It's been a great product and yeah, so far I'm loving it. I felt like it's made a big improvement on my YouTube videos lately. So there's the one kind of video where it keeps it in front and it does a follow me. So if you want to do a pan, you just turn it and it will, the motors will smoothly do it for you. If you double click the button, you go into another mode where it will follow whatever angle and orientation you do, but it will do it smoother. So if you go down really quickly, it will slowly follow. So that gives you just a super smooth video. No. So I want to give you guys a bit of a demonstration of like a handhold shot versus a gimbal shot to show you guys the difference. So I'm going to do the first shot. I'm going to handhold it with just two hands and try and be super stable. And then we'll do the same kind of shot with the gimbal. I'll come up with my tank, check out a few fish, move over pan around around my rock. Okay, so we got our first clip that was completely handheld. And now I'm going to do another clip using the gimbal and try and hopefully do the similar pattern. We'll see the difference. All right, now we'll use the gimbal. Come up, do a bit of a pan. Come back over and come down. Use some of our rock. So as you guys can see from the comparison video, it actually makes a huge difference. It takes your shaky video and gives it that smooth professional look. It, it really is amazing how much you can smooth this as you're jerking all over the place and keep your camera very smooth, very professional looking. So for less than $200, I feel this is probably one of the biggest things that's ups the quality of my videos lately. And it's my favorite accessory. The other kind of thing that's made me pretty happy is it's very durable. I th just throw this in a backpack when I'm going to people's houses, shooting their tanks type of stuff I want to keep a very small kit it doesn't take up much space and I've thrown it around a bit to be honest and it's been holding up fine so it's been pretty solid product and for the price I definitely cannot complain in my opinion it's probably one of the the best budget ones out there at the current time so if you guys are interested in one I will throw a link in the comments the video description below otherwise if you guys enjoy this behind the scenes product what do I use type of stuff let me know because that will kind of tell me if I should make more of these or not. Otherwise, enjoy the hit that like button. And as always, make sure you guys subscribe to keep up to date for more great videos from Reef Dudes.